If you're not familiar with the control center, you're missing out on a feature that can make your use of your technology much more enjoyable. In this video, I'm going to go over how you can customize the control center so you can access tools, shortcuts, and other features to make your iPhone and iPad experience more enjoyable. I'm Karen, founder of Techie Tutor, and I make videos to help seniors and others new to iPhone and iPad make the best use of their technology. Let's get started. The control center is accessed with a quick swipe down. Let's talk about how you're going to set up your control center. The way to do that is in settings. So you're gonna find the settings icon on your iPhone or your iPad. It'll be the same for either one and tap on settings. Once you get to settings, find control center under general. Access within apps, which allows you to access the control center from anywhere, even if you're not in the home screen. So I keep access within apps on. And show home control. If you have home accessories, then you might wanna turn on show home controls. If you don't have them, keep it off. And the way the control center works when you're setting it up is you press the green circle with the plus to add controls. And if you wanna take controls away, you press the red circle with the minus and then press remove and that will get rid of control. Right now I don't have any included controls. I'm going to recommend 10 of them. Camera, code scanner, dark mode, flashlight, magnifier, quick note, silent mode, text size, timer, and voice memos. Now they're all up here. To organize this so that they work for you, I would recommend you put the ones you use the most on the top. They just added as I press them, but I want to organize them. So before I go use them, I'm going to tap on the three horizontal lines and that's how you will move them. So flashlight, if this was my iPhone, I'd want that up top. I don't need my alarm all the way down there. I might want voice memos and camera up top, and actually dark mode is something I would use. So now I'm happy my controls are in my control center, and when I swipe down, I can see them all. So let's see what they do. Now right now I have the do not disturb on. This silences all noise from your device when you press it, and it's red. This is your control center. At the top two are there all the time. The one on the left will take care of airplane mode, Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, and the one on the right will take care of controlling uh, Apple Music or Spotify, whatever you're listening to, or Audible, and you can play it right from the control center, even if the app isn't what you were looking at at the moment. This will be a portrait lock, and this is to mirror the contents of your iPhone or iPad onto a smart monitor or TV, smart TV. This is a slider, but when you press it, it's a little easier to use. There's a few more features down here, including dark mode. And this is the volume control, which when you press it, long press and you can slide. This is the dark mode. I prefer it because uh, that way it's easier to read. Uh, it doesn't feel like I'm looking into a flashlight. Uh, you can turn it on and off as you want, right from the control center. This is your flashlight. You may not need it on an iPad. I use it all the time on my iPhone. This is a voice memo. So if you wanna make a quick memo right on the run and you don't have a way to write your note, you just press this, it'll open up your memo. You can record as you're thinking and it will be a recording. And then when you get home or to a place to access it, you can access it and it's right there. And you have your camera, which you can open right from your control center, take a picture, and there you have it. QR code scanner is very cool. A lot of times you get a QR code and you wanna access the website, which is here. Now I'll hold this right up and it opens it up for you. And we have our magnifying glass. How many times have you read something and you couldn't read the print? You hold up what's really tiny Use a slider function to make it big and small. And if you need to, you can always take a picture. Here is the quick note. Let's you add a quick note by pressing the pencil icon. Let's write your note, mom, about the car. Press done, and there you go. You have your quick note. 
This is text size. It allows you to change the size of your text in an app. Okay, so if you press this, that's your timer. Set it for 40 minutes. You can give it a label. Press start and your timer is going. Please click the like button and subscribe so you'll know when new videos are available.